Hello and welcome to a Black Desert Online inventory tutorial. We're going to be going over the inventory screen and just talking about what is on that screen and why it matters to you. So uh, first things first, I press I and I can open up the inventory and it also opens up the equipment screen. And these are windows so I can click and drag the top of the window to move it around. There's a question mark that will take you to a wiki page and you can learn more about what's in that window. There's also an X that will close the window just like windows. Um, and pretty much any other operating system in the past 20 years. Uh, and then we have on the equipment screen, on the left, we have status and costume. Now these actually both do things. So the outer ring has your status. This is the majority where your stats come from. Um, so like for instance, uh, we have this uh, earring. And if we bounce over any of these things that we've got equipped, the, we can see what they do. So this one's called a binder earring, shows a little icon of what it looks like, the weight, whether or not it can be enhanced. What it's worth on the marketplace, which is kind of like an auction house for player-to-player -player sales and, and purchases. Whether or not it can be dyed, the description, and it also shows the item effects at the bottom. Um, whether or not it uh, gives you any abilities um, or it's just for fluff. Usually, almost every item in the game will have something that it does for you. Uh, if you can equip it. Then we have the price, which is how much it's worth if we sell it to a vendor. And then the durability. So once that, once that durability goes all the way down, we need to replace that piece of armor. So that's the status circle here. It has all the different status items. Um, in the inner circle here, we have costume. And usually costumes in games like this don't do anything. But if we look at this, it has similar stuff uh, to the status items. But uh, it has actual set effects, things that it will do for you if you use it. So combat XP is all increased and everything like that. Uh, for some reason, this isn't lit up, and I'm not sure why. Oh, you can hide and show. Cool. I don't know why that, that isn't lit up the way these are lit up. I'll have to look in. Oh, it takes up. That's why. This item takes up both slots, and so this one's grayed out. I was like, I don't understand. Now I understand. Okay, we also have some empty slots here that we can see that I have nothing in. And we have some empty slots here. I don't have a necklace on. I don't have two rings on. I only have one ring on, etc. At the bottom, you see if we have a lantern um, equipped. We do not. We also have a skill, uh, a profession item, a gathering item here, dull axe. I can chop down trees with that. You see what it does. Uh, you can have accessory uh, for head, ear, head, ear, eye, and mouth, chin. And those are like piercings and things. And you can hide those. Like you can see these yellow um, circles. You can hide anything pretty much that's on your character. Now, generally, costumes are what you what your character looks like. Status items don't really show up much. They just show up uh, in your stats. They don't really show up on your character visibly. At the bottom, it says total AP and total DP. Those are your total attack points and total defense points um, for your currently equipped items. And then below that, we have the different settings of what you want your character to look like. We have camouflage settings. We have mount settings, pet settings, underwear settings, cape settings, head settings, and visor settings. Um, cool. And then that is the equipment screen. Then we have the inventory screen over here. You can see the different things we have in our inventory. We got uh, some trade skill stuff like axes, pickaxes, fishing rods. We have a contract with a naive worker. Looks like we have two contracts there. Um, mineral water, HP potion, HP potion, uh, just different things. You can mouse over and see what they all do. And um, uh, you'll have different things when you when you start, obviously, because you haven't collected anything. So these, these are my empty slots where I can fit more items as I pick things up. And then we also have these little, it has a little lock symbol on it. Uh, those are inventory slots that will open up as we earn more inventory slots. So it gradually expands your inventory um, space as pretty much as much as you want. Uh, down at the bottom we have weight and this is how much is the weight of the items that you have. Green shows the amount we have in silver coins. Uh, coins, uh, uh, your, your, your cash in the game actually has weight. So you can't run around with a billion coins like you can in other games. You actually have to put it in storage or invest it somewhere. Uh, we also have weight of equipped items. So things we're wearing is in yellow. And that's weighing us down a bit. And then what red is, most of our weight is inventory items, which you see above. Those are contributing to a large portion of our weight. Once we get to the end, I believe it actually starts slowing us down and, and doing things to us to where we have to drop weight. As, you know, you, similar weight systems and games uh, do that. I haven't actually got to uh, the point where 
I started seeing any effects of high weight, so um, I'll have to figure out that later. Uh, down at the bottom we have silver, we have pearls, and we have loyalty points. And these are your currency in game. Silver comes from um, basically looting monsters. The pearl is from the cash shop. For spending actual money you get pearls. And here I have 2,500. Uh, since I was in the closed beta, this is I was actually given to us for free. We had six. We could get 6,600 pearls to spend in the game. And then we have the loyalty. I think this is 100 points per login, but I'm not exactly sure how a loyalty points get awarded yet. So that's the inventory button. We also have this um, auto arrange button down here, so you can see what it looks like without being auto arranged. And then you can click auto arrange, and it'll sort it all for you. It's pretty nice. And then next we have. Uh, filters so you can filter to basic items you can show everything except for trade items will be filtered to gray so I clicked on that and now you see my trade items are, are filtered to gray and then these items stay colored and then we click that button housing items will be filtered everything but housing items will be filtered to gray so I can see what housing items I have in my how in my uh, inventory you can actually yeah buy a house and decorate it and furnish it and everything uh, more on that in another video uh, and as always, if you're confused by anything, click that little inventory button and you can learn about it. If you need to um, per produce anything, you can click on the produce button. There's also a hotkey for it, but you can click on it here and you can go into your crafting menu. We'll go into that in another video. And then we also have palette. This is a dye palette. We'll, we'll talk about this really quick because I don't have any dyes. Basically, if you have any dyes, here's all the colors of the dye. If you have any dyes, you can dye your clothes different colors and kind of have a unique look, look different from other characters, things like that. Um, and then you have my dye, so if you actually mix dyes together, you can produce other colors, which is pretty cool. You can produce your own color and uh, color your, your um, uniforms and co costumes with it. And you click take out to take out the dye, you can put tie into here, etc, etc. Next we also have the trash can. I can click and drag something into the trash if I want to throw it away. No, I can also click it onto just empty area and I can discard it. Same deal. So it does the same exact thing. Next we have Pearl, which is your Pearl inventory. It shows you anything that you have bought on the Pearl store. So I had two things in my Pearl store and I went ahead and equipped those. And now those are on my character. Um, and you, sa you saw that the the uh, her uniform changed slightly. If I, if I actually take off, for instance, her um, armor here, you see her original uniform and what she looks like with that on. And then you uh, right-click on it to put it back on. There you go. Cool beans. So that is basically everything in the inventory screen. Hope that helped. Feel free to ask any questions. If you have anything you're confused about, I'll be glad to a answer anything I can. And uh, also feel free to click that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more videos like this. And finally, remember, keep it clean.